Hi everybody. We're going to learn how to harness the power of the spook harness today. Dobby, our demonstration dog, is here to show us the way with his spirit guide, Lauren. So you get this harness and it's a big old tangle of stuff. But we're gonna unbuckle everything and show you the easiest way to put the harness on and also tighten it down so your dog, it will be fitting your dog appropriately. So we've unbuckled all the buckles. The easiest way to start the harness is to say, what is the loop that goes around the waist, here, Dobby's waist? There's only one area of the harness that is a single loop, tis this one. So if you know that this is gonna go on their back, then you are almost all the way there. So we have it placed on his back and the only other triangle that we have is this one in the middle that's gonna go over his head. So, once we get that in place, we're gonna buckle the, the back loop and we're all, obviously, we're gonna make some adjustments in a minute here to move that loop a little higher off of his private parts. But the, tr <laughs> the triangle is gonna go over his head and you're gonna come up the sides and buckle into the sides. But it is very loose, as you can see. Very, very loosey-goosey. So we're gonna move this up a little bit so his man parts are free. And then we're gonna tighten around the chest on either side so it's about even. So you want it to be snug, but not like super tight. Good job, Dobby. Good job. So that looks pretty good. So there's two ways you could attach the leash to the harness. We have one clip that's on the top. Sometimes if you have a dog that pulls more to the side, this is a, a good way to go. There's also another single loop on the front of the harness down here. If you have a dog that's a puller, this is a good way or a good position for you to attach the leash. You can also add a carabiner to your harness by threading it through this part of the leash and then attaching it also to the clip to, for extra safety. And we're gonna also tighten up these front straps because they're a little loose as well. And you're just gonna do it on both sides. Again, so it's a little bit snug, but not too tight, maybe a little bit tighter. Ever patient Dobby. Good example of a spook. Yes. <laughs> He's a good example. He did a great job and he is ready to walk in the walk. Good job, Dobby. Hey, Dobby. Yay! Woohoo!